Well, hello, this is your devotional for May 11, and today we're looking at just one verse from James chapter 4, verse 4, but it is packed full of a lot of things to think about. So listen to God's word from James 4, 4. He begins kind of softly and gently. He says, you adulterous people, kind of an intro, right? You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Another pretty heavy uh, single verse, but a couple of thoughts out of this. And here's a question I would ask you. Where do you place your friendship? Where do you place your energy? What do you devote yourself to? What, what are you friends with? And James is saying, be careful that your friendship is not with the world, but with God. And so this brings up a few thoughts that I think are good for us to reflect on today. First, that we can lust after and want and desire and become friends with things that are very damaging to us. Now, when you read in the Bible, you find out that God so loved the world. John 3, 16, probably the most famous Bible passage in all the scriptures, for God so loved the world. So why is, why is James saying, don't be friends with the world? Well, when Jesus uh, is talking about loving the world, when, when the scriptures say God so loved the world, it's talking about the people in the world. James is talking about the systems of the world and the lust of the world, and the things in the world. That, so when you talk about the world, there's the people, and God says, I love them and I care about them, but there's systems that can be very corrupt and damaging. So here he's talking about those things that are uh, more the, uh, the enemies, uh, kingdoms, strongholds in a world, so you can have God at work, but also the enemy at work. Uh, he says that friendship with the world and a love of the things of the world and the systems of the world can actually push you against God. It was Jesus who said you can't serve two masters. You can't serve money and stuff and God. And this is kind of what James is getting at. Decide who your friends are going to be. And so this isn't about not loving people. It's about not being possessed by the things of the world or controlled by the systems of the world. And there's kind of this warning that if you get too close to the world systems and the stuff of the world and fall too in love with them, if you become too friendly with those things, it begins to pull you away from God. And I can tell you as a pastor, I've seen that happen hundreds of times. People have walked close to Jesus, love Jesus, and they fall in love with certain things in the world, certain ways of thinking, and all of a sudden that possesses them, and they begin to kind of wander from Jesus. So we need to be careful. So here's my encouragement. Call Jesus your closest friend. Make sure that your, your ultimate friendship is with Jesus Christ and that your heart longs for the things of God. Love the people in the world. Enjoy the beauty of God's creation. That's another good gift. But the world's systems and the stuff of the world, if they begin to possess you, that will begin to push you away from your love for Jesus. Lord, this is our prayer today. That we would love you. That we would love the people in this world like you love them. That we would appreciate the beauty of what you've created as the wonderful creator. But Lord, the world's systems that oftentimes are influenced by our spiritual enemy can draw us away from you. Show us where that's happening. Open our eyes to see. Give us discernment to understand and give us strength to hold on to you as our closest, dearest friend. We pray this in your name, Jesus, the one who said that you are our friend. We pray this in your name. Amen. Hey, worship services at Shoreline online and on campus, 9 and 11 this Sunday. Hope to see you there.